What is up everyone? Today, doing something a little bit different, as you can see here. Sorry for the little bit of mess going on. Uh, so we're gonna try out something I've been seeing on YouTube, uh, Austin Paul being one of the biggest influencers that I've seen do stuff like this. Uh, and I got some of these ideas from his videos, so you might see some similar shots. Uh, we're doing a pretzel brand, it's called Pop Daddy Pretzels. I believe they started out with popcorn, but I love these pretzels. So we're gonna make them a little commercial and kind of see how it goes. I'm trying to figure out lighting and stuff, so it's a little touch and go, and I'm still trying to learn things as we do this. Um, but as of right now, I have my, uh, let's call it my hero shot set up. This will be the last shot I do with all of the different pretzels kind of laid out, the different flavors. And I'm going to put some pretzels laid out in front of it to make it a little more dynamic and give it a little more something. So I have extra bags over here. Uh, I'm gonna use these bags to pour pretzels in front. I made sure that my framing and all that looks really good. So basically, I wrote out a few shots on a storyboard to see kind of what kind of shots I need to get and to make sure I get shots of the bags not open first and I need to know which shots of those I need to get. Because uh, if you once you open the bags, they're open and you can't really get cool shots like this because they'll look open and that doesn't look very good. One thing about these, there's one bag, it's the garlic parmesan bag. It's actually really shiny. Um, the other ones are more matte. I don't really know why that's a thing, but it is, and I don't know if I can really do much about it. So there's kind of a glare on that specific bag. I am using a polarizer, but I'm not really sure what to do about it. So I kind of put it on a side that has less glare. Um, as you can see, I have my top light here. That's giving me my backlight. I have this light here, which is a fill light. And then my main key light here, which is shining kind of on the side. I'm trying to make it more straight on, but with these both combined, it's kind of like one giant key light because I don't have a little lantern globe yet. For now, we're going to sprinkle some pretzels down and uh, see how that goes. Sorry about this super awkward angle. I don't have any really anywhere to sit. I'm actually in my living room and it's still kind of not a lot of space. Uh, basically what I'm doing now, I set up my poses on my Adele Crone uh, slider here I just got. My very first shot is going to be a pull out shot. It's going to be very slow because I'm going to be able to speed this up in post. Uh, I'm shooting at 24 frames per second in 4K HQ on the EOS R5 with a 28 to 70. I'm at about 50 mil and I'm at about F6 just so that all the bags are perfectly in focus because the background is just blank paper so it doesn't really need to be like blurry. So uh, what I'm gonna do is my first shot uh, my little helper came. Uh, she's very helpful and is going to help me eat all these pretzels whenever we're done. So my very first shot shows up um, at about 50 mil and I'm basically zoomed in just on the first three pretzel bags and then we're going to do a really wide zoom out all the way to the other end. I'm gonna do that shot a few different times, a few different variations and you know shot heights just to see what they look like. And uh, I'll show you exactly what they look like right here. While I'm waiting for the slider to do its thing, I wanted to mention why I picked red as the backdrop. Uh, so this is the company's color or as close as I could get to it. Uh, I kind of just found this by going on their website to see kind of what their color is. And this seems to be closest to what their color is and I can color grade it in post to make it more accurate. But that's why I picked that. Plan for the next shot is we're going to keep things the way they are, but I'm going to get a panning shot left to right of each flavor and I'm gonna put each flavor in the middle. So I'm gonna keep the one that's in the middle right there now, get a panning shot of the flavor, get a close-up shot of the flavor, as well as maybe some other uh, important factors on the bag, such as made in Michigan or something else. And then I'm going to swap the middle one for one of the other ones and do the same thing so that it's always in the middle. All right, so now I've got it left to right and I'm going to get a few shots panning, like I mentioned, and uh, we're going to get some of those. So realistically, this will be edited in 1080p and I am in 4K. 
instead of having to move all of this closer, which I'm already pretty much at my max, I'm just gonna put it at my 70 mil maximum limit on the lens, and that will put me basically where you can see just the top and bottom of the bags, and I will zoom in as needed to get some of the details. But when I'm filming these things, I do a few different speeds just so I have them in case one looks better than the other. And then ideally, I think this would be very beneficial if you were editing this while you were shooting. So take some of the shots you're getting and start making the video. However, I'm shooting mine kind of in reverse as well as this is my first time. So I'm just kind of getting a feel for what kind of shots look good in the first place. All right, so now that I got all of the pan shots left to right of all of them together and I might crop in, I'm going to get individual bags by themselves because I'm not really sure which one I wanna use or if I'll use any of them, but it doesn't hurt the more shots, the merrier. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, the next shot I'm going to get after I'm done with this is I'm going to put uh, each bag on a little spinner and I'm gonna try to get the bag itself spinning. All right, so the plan here is I have some thread, literally just really thin thread. And I looped a thread around the hole that you'd put it on the shelf with. Uh, it's really strong, so you can't really tell that the thread is really there. And then in post, I will remove the thread with After Effects. And I am just going to kind of spin it very slowly. But the issue I'm running into is that the bag wiggles back and forth quite a bit, which is less than ideal. But for these purposes, I think it'll be all right for what it is. And I'm just going to have it spin very slowly. So I got rid of the thread and I found some wire that I'm hanging it with and I'm spinning it very slowly. I'm shooting in both 24 frames per second and I'm also getting a few shots in 120 frames per second just so I have a little bit of variation because I can't necessarily get it to go really slow like I want it. So I figure if I put it in slow motion, I might be able to get a little bit slower spin on it, but it might not work in post because it might look weird. Uh, right now I'm waiting for my camera to be done overheating because I've been shooting in 4K HQ without an external monitor. All right, so I basically wanted to try something out. I just did a few tests. I'm putting a bunch of pretzels on a pizza box and I'm just kind of chucking it up in the air. I'm gonna shoot it in slow motion and regular uh, and see if these shots are usable. If not, oh well, but they look kind of cool. All right, so I'm doing this next shot twice. I'm just dropping a bunch of pretzels so they fall like rain. I don't know if I'll use this shot, but it's something I wanted to try. I'm doing it both in slow motion and not slow motion, just so I have both. I liked, I really liked what that looked like in slow motion, but I want more pretzels at one time. So I'm gonna take a huge handful and just drop them and hopefully that'll look really good. That's exactly what I wanted. It looks pretty good. So this got really greasy and gross because of the pretzels and the grease from sitting for a while. So I'm going to bring the paper down a little bit more. I think I only have a couple more shots to go. I'm gonna get a couple of pour shots of pretzels pouring into a bowl. I have a coconut bowl that my girlfriend got uh, for free. So we're gonna use that. And uh, I'm gonna get a pour shot and then maybe I'll try to get a top down shot of pretzels falling uh, in slow motion. But uh, not really sure how that work due to the situation, my lens, etc. So give it a shot though. All right, so next on the list, we're gonna get some pour shots into this coconut bowl and we'll see how that looks. I'm gonna do slow motion and regular, but I'll most likely end up using the slow motion shot. So as you just saw me do, I threw a little bit of an audible shot in there that I kind of liked that I noticed I did when I was shooting it. Basically, I have some pretzels on the ground and then I have some pretzels in a bowl and I just placed the bag of pretzels next to the bowl in a kind of an aggressive manner to like, you know, assertively show these are the pretzels. Uh, I don't know if I'll use the shot, but I thought it was kind of cool and it looked kind of nice aesthetically. Uh, so we'll see what happens. <music> The next shot is a top-down view. What I'm gonna do is kind of make it like you're eating them. Uh, I'm going to have it full and then half empty and then fully empty to show like crunch, crunch, crunch. They were eaten, they were good. Uh, I think this idea came from like probably subconsciously a Reese's commercial I saw sometime because that seems kind of something like what they do. Uh, but I think it might look cool, but it's gonna take me a minute to get set up. And I think that's kind of like the second to last shot. <laughs> 
All right, so now I've got my top down shot ready to go. We're gonna get a few shots in 24P uh, and I'm going to just kind of empty the bowl as we go. All right, I think that's really all the shots I wanted. So we're gonna call that a wrap.